Aspiration is what happens when food or fluid goes into the lungs instead of the stomach where it should go. Most of the time when this happens, a person will cough in order to try and clear that food or liquid out of the lungs. But sometimes this doesn't happen. It's called silent aspiration. This can be really dangerous because repeated silent aspiration can cause a lot of damage to the lungs. Some common signs of silent aspiration include choking on certain foods or fluids, coughing before or after swallowing, pocketing food on the inside of their cheeks, a lot of drooling, especially during meals. You could also be hearing a kind of gurgly voice after a meal, taking a really long time to finish a meal, a runny nose or watery eyes during meals, a complaint like something is caught in their throat. They could also be complaining of unexplained fevers that come and go. So we have many different mechanisms in our body to keep us from aspirating on food and liquids, but sometimes these mechanisms just aren't working right. There are certain diseases and conditions that will make us more vulnerable to aspiration. Brain injury, cerebral palsy, muscular dystrophy, multiple sclerosis, stroke, ALS, spinal cord injury, Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, cancer of the head or neck area, and injury or surgery in the head or neck area. Aspiration can be caused by something called dysphagia. Dysphagia is pretty much any disorder in swallowing. Some common complaints of people who have dysphagia are things like, I have a really hard time swallowing my medications. Food just goes down the wrong way. I get pneumonia and upper respiratory infections all the time. I've lost weight because eating is just not pleasant anymore. If someone you know is exhibiting any of the signs and symptoms of either silent aspiration or swallowing difficulties in general, you should really try and get help. One of the best things that you can do is have their swallow evaluated. When this is done and the swallow is either found normal or abnormal, if it's abnormal, there are lots of things that you can do. There are different therapy techniques, there are different food options, there are different things you can do while you're eating, but the important thing to do is to get help because as I said, this can be a really dangerous issue.